tools we're going to use for modeling. So these are the very important tools which we have to use for designing your database by using your BW Studio that is called Data Warehousing Workbench. So whenever you open your Data Warehousing Workbench, you're going to see the list of tools, whatever is available here. So this is very important for you. Let's see that what are the tools are there, how it is going to help us when you're doing a modeling. The first one we have info area, then I have info object catalog, then I have under this info object catalog, I have a in characteristics key figure, time characteristic. This is a type of your info object catalog. Then coming to info providers, it is a provides information or you can call data targets. It is called data targets. Where the data reach to the final stage in BW, these are the places. Especially we use this data targets to load the transaction data. The major data targets are your info cube and DSO. DSO stands for data store object. First of all, we'll let you know what is the use of all these things. Okay, now come back to your info area. What is the purpose of info area? Why should I create this? Under this, what is the info object catalog? And when I have to create, why I have to create? These are very important. Let's talk about this one by one. See, first, if you want to talk about info area, it is similar to a class which contains a domain specific info objects and info providers. So what is this? I can say info area is nothing but like a folder object. The better way if you want me to explain this, for example, let's open your Excel sheet. Let's say that I have a data here. Okay. For example, let's say that I have a two columns or three columns of data here. Okay, in this, I have customer number, customer name, age, and address. These are the options which I have here. In this, I have a data called customer number, then name, for example, Karen. Address, Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore. Okay, what I want to do here? I want to load this data to BW. When I want to load this data to BW side, as you know very well, a BW contains a blank database. First, initially, before you're loading your data. So what I need to do that, for example, let's say that I'm going to select some database okay I have a blank database here this is a blank database so I want to load the data from where I want to load the data from here to BW if I want to load this one first I need to identify what type of data it is as we discussed yesterday we have a two different types of data are available datas or two types majorly. What are those things? Master data, transaction data. What is the master data and transaction data? What is the difference in between these two? Master data is nothing but which we use for display purpose. Okay, which cannot change. Not changeable. Not changeable frequently. Okay, then which we don't use this for calculation purpose. No, no calculation. Okay, this is called master data. How you can see that uh, master data, what is the best example? Let's say customer name. Do you think that customer is going to change his name frequently? No. Do you think that we can do calculations with the name? No, that is called master data. What is the display purpose? If I say I have a customer number one, then immediately I'm going to ask what is his name? Okay, customer number one, his name is Kiran, his age is 22, his address is Hyderabad. What I'm doing here? I am giving information about the customer number one. So it's only for display purpose, it's only for information purpose. That is called master data. Then what is a transaction data? A transaction data which 
changes always okay which we use for calculation purpose that is called transaction data what is the best example for example let's say that you have a petrol price okay you have a quantity let's for example petrol price let's say one liter equal to the price will be 60 rupees then what happens two liters will be 120 rupees what I am doing here I am calculating the data that is called transaction data what about the frequently changes yes today it will be 60 rupees tomorrow it will be 100 rupees so it will keep changing the data this type of data I call transaction data so basically what what is the you need to understand here I have two types of data always I'll be loading into BW one is the master data other one is transaction data master data is always we use for information purpose not changeable no calculations transaction data always changes calculations can happen here and it is a day-to-day -day transaction that is called a transaction data so if you are if I ask you what type of data it is it is called master data how I can say that so I cannot do any calculation on this it is completely for information purpose so this is called master data now your creation of your starting of modeling in a BW side completely depends on your data type what type of data you loading now I identified my data is master data when I identify the type of data obviously I need to decide what type of object what is an info object info object is nothing like it is like a field which holds a data or which takes input of the data from the customer if you are entering if you are creating otherwise I can load the data into the field it will hold holds the data okay now I, how do I know that what is the info object whenever I am loading the data first thing is you need to identify how many columns it contains this is a column or field I call in a general computer language but when I'm coming to the BW side I call it is a info object BW side it is info object out of the BW side it is a column or field now I have identified I have a four columns here then I need to create four info objects in a BW side this is how you need to decide how to design this is called implementation this planning of implementation when we start the implementation we decide like this okay now I decided I need four info objects okay what type of info objects you want here I want my info object here called <coughs> customer number customer name age address these are the info objects I want okay well and good the question is if I want to load the data why should I create info objects do you think that I cannot load the data without info objects let's say that I don't have info object okay then I want to load the data from my source system into BW without info object let's say what happens for example I'm loading a data without any info object say customer number customer name H address then customer number customer name age address now please tell me if you bring anyone and look at the screen if you ask them could you please read this he will say this is C number what is this customer name C name or you can say it is an age it is an address is easily identifying if you ask the same person to read this he will say it is a 1, it is a Kiran, it is a 22, it is a HYD. Why? What is the difference in between here and here? The same data here also. Whatever the data you have here, the same data I moved here. But the person is not identifying the what type of data it is. He is simply reading what is the data but is not telling me what is the purpose of who. What is Kiran? What is 22? What is Hyderabad? There is no meaning for this data. Why? why there is no meaning for this data the reason because 
there is no structure for this data. So what does it mean? Without structure, there is no meaning for the data. So this is a reason why we create info objects. Nothing but a field to load the data. If you don't create info object, you cannot identify what type of data it is, what is the meaning for this data. This is a major purpose, why we need to start modeling, why we need to create info objects. Now let's say that I'm going to create info objects here. Okay, for example, let's move the, remove this one. Okay, let's say this is a non-BW, this is called, it's like a data source, the source of the data and this is my BW. Okay, now I want to load the data from here to here. Let's say that I want to load this data. Okay, for example, I'm loading this data exactly as it is. Okay, then what happens? Tomorrow one, one more person comes, he loads the data. Tomorrow other person comes, he loads the data. For example, let's say it is a material number, material name, material ID, okay, material brand. This is a product number, product name, product ID, like product color. So I have a different types of data the people started loading along with me. Then what happens? All the data is mixing up. Okay. Then what happens is it is a very difficult to find out what is your data, what is other people's data, what is your info object, what is other people's info object. Like this, for example, you have a five thousands of info objects. Let's say that I'm removing this. I'll show you in a better way. Let's say that we'll create only info objects. Then what happens if you create only info objects? For example, I'm creating customer number, customer name, age, address. Okay. Then tomorrow there is one more person comes, material number, material name, age. One more person, product ID, product number, product name, brand, color, quantity, price, like this it goes. For example, so many info objects. In this situation, you have a 5000 of info objects when you come to the next day to the office. Now, the biggest problem for you to find out or identify what are the info objects you have created yesterday. It's because it's messed up. All your data is, all your info objects lost so many people. We cannot expect that you are the only one person in the team. It BW consultant, there will be a lot of BW consultants working with your organization in a different locations. So everybody started using the same system. According to their requirement, everybody started creating all the info objects. Now it is a very difficult, if I have a more like a thousands of info objects, it is a very difficult for me. What I have created yesterday to find out is very difficult. Then what I need to do? What in case if I take my info object and keep separately? Or in case other person also takes his info object and keeps separately. What does it mean? I am organizing my info object, which is a very easy way to find out. Okay. Then what happens whenever you open the system, it is easy for you to find out. I can say this is a customer objects or I can say customer data. Then I can say this is material data. What I'm doing based on the domain, what type of data I'm loading. I am loading a material data. Then I name it as material data. I am loading a customer data. I'll name it as customer data. What is this? I'm going to keep this in a place called a folder like object. What is a folder like object? Very simple. In one box, I'm going to keep this. Okay. So what is this box? This box is called info area. Why info area I need? To organize your objects, I need info area. What is an info area? Info area is nothing but a folder like object where I can organize my info objects. Okay? Well and good.
right now I have for example customer name customer number address I have keep into my info object what these are all the customer these are all the master data related objects what in case tomorrow if I'm loading the transaction data I need to create all transaction data related info objects like for example price and amount right so it will be again difficult for me to find out which is a master data related objects which is a transaction data related objects then what is the best way the best way is let me remove this material data the best way is I need to separate the master data related objects and transaction data related objects what is the transaction data related objects like quantity price amount discount I'm separating this data and the separating the objects this separation is called info object catalog what do you call this we call it is info object catalog what I'm doing I'm creating I'm separate folder here then what I'm doing is I'm separating my info object into different folders so this info object catalogs what I call I call these are all subfolders if info area is a main folder your info object catalog is subfolder so I can say this is info object catalog this is info area under info object catalog I have a two types what is this this is a characteristic info object catalog this is a key figure info object catalog key figure info object catalog contains always transaction data characteristic info object catalog contains always master data related objects once you have this structure then I can start loading this this is called modeling the what you need to understand here you need to understand only one thing first if you want to create info objects first step step one what is the step one step one should be create info area step two should be create info object catalog step three is create info object so if you want to create info object first you need to create info area under this you need to create info object catalog under this you need to create info object same thing if I want to create customer number one info object I need to create first info info area I need to create then info object catalog under this I need to create my info object this is how you need to do that you should have a very good clarity here if you understand this concept here then your modeling concept will be a piece of cake guys right now I want all of you unmute please ask me if you have any questions here it is very important to understand this concept is everybody clear about what is info area what is info object catalog and what is info objects yes yeah Dinesh you can unmute Dinesh unmute and ask me questions Uh, go through the info info catalog again okay you want to talk about info catalog okay it's uh, very simple yeah would it be possible that yeah yes, let me explain to you once again it's very simple Dinesh the thing is actually let me move this little bit down see I decided that first you need to understand what type of data you're loading this is a master data I decided if you want to load the master data then what happens is I need characteristic info object catalog. Let me explain to you this first here. For master data loading, what you need to do? Create characteristic info object. Info object is nothing but field. Okay. For transaction data you need to create key figure info object it is also field 
So now first identify what type of data. It is master data. If I want to load the master data, I need to create characteristic info object. If I want to create an info object, either it is characteristic or key figure, anything. First what I need to do is, I need to create info area. Why I need to create info area? I'm organizing my objects. So first create info area. Under this, you have a two types of catalogs. Either characteristic catalog or key figure catalog. Let's take this example. I'm loading a master data. So there is no concept. We don't want this key figure catalog. I need to create only characteristic catalog. A, a catalog, a info object catalog is nothing but a subfolder like object where it will organize all your info object. If it is a characteristic info object catalog, then it contains only characteristic info object. If it is a key figure info object catalog, it contains only key figure info object. Since I am loading a master data, I need to create info area first. Then I need to create characteristic info object catalog. Under this, it will allow me to create only characteristic type info object. See, characteristic type info object because I am loading a master data. Once you have your info objects and everything, then what I need to do? I have the same structure here. Customer number, customer name, age, address. So when I have a same structure, when I create this one, what happens is the data automatically comes and stores when I load the data. Exactly like this. When I when I load the data into my BW, automatically in the back end also, the data will be created like this in the table. If you take the table, if you take the database, the database will be designed and loaded the data like this. So to design your database like this, we are doing modeling. We are creating info offset. Because the same structure should be there in my database also back end. I am using a tool called BW Data Warehousing Workbench, DWW. Yesterday I have shown you. I am doing all the modeling. I am designing exactly like data source structure. Then I will load the data. Now the question is how the system knows this customer number one should come exactly and sit down here. Customer name should exactly come and sit down here. How the system knows? How the BW system knows? We need to do the mapping the fields. How do we do the mapping the fields? It is very simple. When I create this exactly the info object here, what happens is I am going to map the fields. What are the fields are available here? For example, let's take this. I have here, uh, for example, in a data source side, out of BW, I have a customer number, customer name, age, address. Same thing I have here, BW side also. Customer number, customer name, age, address. Same thing I have. Then what I need to do is, I need to start mapping. I am telling to the BW system, this is called field mapping. This data should go to here. This data should go to here. This should here. This should go here. This is called field mapping. When I do the field mapping, then what happens is automatically the data exactly travels and goes to particular info object. These are the fields out of BW. These are the info object inside the BW. Now the data knows where it has to travel and sit down. This is called field mapping. And this field ma mapping will happen in the place called data source or transformations. Okay, we'll come to this field mapping. That is the next topic. Right now, you need to understand only thing. How to create info object. If I want to create info object, how do I do that first? How do I identify how many info objects I need? Basis on what I'm going to decide. Basis, in, basis on your data. What data you want to load. This data I want to load. Okay. What type of data? Master data. Okay. If I want to load master data, I need to create characteristic info object catalog. Info objects. Okay. Then how many info objects I need to create? I have here one, two, three, four. Okay. Then I need to create four info objects. This is how I decide.
Okay, now let's start creating info object. If I want to create info object, first step one is create info area because it is going to organize all your catalogs. Under info area, catalogs will be organized. Then create a catalog. Then under catalog, info objects will be organized. Then create info object. Is it clear for everyone now? <coughs> Guys, is it clear for everyone? Yeah, please unmute yourself. I need answer. I need to move to the next topic. If it is clear, we'll move to the next topic. Yeah, Sureka, Sai, Dinesh, yes. Raj. Yeah, can yes, I have yes. one question? Yeah, that's Hello? why I'm asking you. Please go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, you said that this master data is something which will not change frequently, uh, right? So yes. let us say date of birth. Uh, which is good, which will never change, it's a fixed value. But uh, where if sometimes you want to calculate the age of a person, we can make calculations upon that. But you said that mass data, we cannot uh, do any calculations. So in, the, in that case, how we can take it, like the mass data or transaction data, we can take uh, data of that. See, the mass data purpose is always, which is going to help with your transaction data to give okay. some meaning to your transaction data. So it is not meant for the calculation purpose. See, you are looking for a numbers of age. Of course, it's a good question. You want to do calculation of age, but we never do any calculation for in real time with the customer, what is the age and all. We need only information. What is the age of customer? That's it. It's only for information okay. purpose. Let's say, for example, okay. let's say, for example, I got 10,000 rupees. I sold some products. Okay? okay, so when I got 10,000 rupees in my cash box, in my shop, I'm definitely going to ask which product is sold. They say, for example, they sold two mobile phones. I'm going to ask to which customers is sold, right? They say this is a customer information, customer name, customer address, customer phone number. This is a customer information. I can do nothing with the customer. But what I'm doing is I need to find out how I got my 10,000 rupees. If I don't have a customer information, there is no meaning to my transaction data. See, I have a 10,000 rupees, but where is the master data? I don't know how I got it, to whom I sold, which product I sold. Not only customer, even product also, I call it is a master data. Let's say product name, product color, product size, it will be same always, it never changes. Okay. Now I want to find out how many products I sold, I got this 10,000 rupees. I'll say I sold mobile phones. What in case if I don't have a product information? There is no meaning for my transaction data. That's the reason always in BW we say that before loading the transaction data, you should load the master data. Then only transaction data will be meaningful. Otherwise there is no meaning to the transaction data. Let's come to your question. Now what happens is, Normally, we don't do calculations in master data. In case, if you're required to do calculations, then make it as a transaction data. So that is completely meaningless. We always, the master data, whenever I'm talking a master data, of course, it contains an age, it contains a mobile phone numbers, all the stuff. Sometimes you have a HR data, where you have employees, data of joining, right? So these kind of things, we need, we need to do a calculation purpose, then I need to make it as into a key figure. Then I can display that. How can I do that one? I can always connect this primary object, employee number one. Then I will say date of joining will be my key figure. How, what is the calculation I required for date of joining? I want to find out what is the number of years of experience the employee gain. That is a calculation. This calculation always link with your, this data of joining always link with your employee number. So when I'm taking a transaction data, in the transaction data, I have to mention my employee number as a master data. Then I need to mention as a data of joining, as a key figure. You clear now? In transaction data, we're going to add one particular 
key main key info object as a master data don't think that transaction data contains only calculation you know data now there will be master data also added why because i need to relate these two tables this is a master data this is a transaction data how i can relate you should have a similar one column here the same column should be here in a transaction data also then not only your transaction data master data will be related each other otherwise it will be separate data this will be separate data there is no relation is it clear sureka now yeah yeah it is clear okay. uh, now and and I also like yeah go ahead yeah yeah uh, like uh, is there any possibility to change from character uh, characteristic in for this catalog to key figure uh, catalog like there is uh, no option to change once it created it is created it is clearly going to ask you the time of creation what type of catalog you want to create you have only two option either characteristic okay. or key figure okay so once it is created means we cannot change it in the future right no it is a meant completely for to add only characteristic catalog only okay. characteristic info object key figure okay. catalog only key figure info objects okay okay now i am going to show you this how to do a simple design i hope all of you guys got uh, uh, server access in case if anybody have not got server access please check with your front desk uh, with ashwini she is going to provide you by tomorrow please make sure that everybody should have server access because we are going to start the practical today let's say that log on to your sap bdw system i am going to show you today how to create info area info object catalog and info object log on to bdw system Thing we already logged in. Okay, so once you log on to BW system, the first thing is if you want to create your info area, you have to select info objects under modeling. This is a modeling section. Under modeling, select info objects. It will display list of info areas. If you want to create info area. this is a header of info object this is a header of the section right click on info object header select create info area it is if you want to create any kind of object anything in a bw it is going to ask you technical name and description technical name is nothing but the name of the object which you creating description is nothing but the purpose of the creation okay so what is the technical name i am going to give here a technical name is nothing but the name of the object why i need to give it, why i am calling a technical name because whenever i am going to use anywhere in a bw overall in a bw throughout your bw i need to call this particular info area i need to call based on the technical name only not based on the description that's the reason technical name is very important let's say that i am creating technical name is ia ia stands for info area let's say it is a 9 pm class okay then i'll say info area for 9 pm class there is a button call continue nothing but okay this is called cancel click on continue button when you click on continue please look at the bottom of the screen it has been created info area now right click on this info area i need to create what is the step one first if you go back here what is the step one step one is creation of info area it is done what is the step two step two is going to be we need to create info object catalog okay let's come back here how do i create info object catalog very simple right click on your info area select create info object catalog when i say create info object catalog please observe it is displaying only two types of catalog one is a characteristic and key figure by default characteristics has been selected then other one is key figure okay so now let's enter a technical name for this info object catalog 
example 1 okay say characteristic info object catalog for 9 pm batch okay once you enter your technical name and description below that please observe it is automatically taken your info area technical name and description why how it has taken the reason because I have created this catalog by right clicking on this info area that's the reason it is automatically taken now you have one more field called copy from in case if you feel that there is a one existing info opposite catalog you want the same structure same design you can enter the technical name it will automatically copy the design of this existing info object into the newly creation of info object. that is called copy from then I have three options here system type or namespace it has three options SAP delivered by SAP thus generated by the customer or partner what is the system type namespace by default SAP has created so many predefined objects to work with your SAP PW why they have created so many predefined objects the reason because you don't need to create anything from the scratch they already created some predefined objects which you can use as a ready-made objects which will help you to save lot of your designing time in your projects where you can complete your project before the deadlines that is the purpose of predefined objects if any objects is created by SAP or predefined object the name starts with 0 to 9 if any object starts with 0 in between 0 to 9 that is called SAP created object or you can say SAP defined object what is a CUS? CUS is nothing but customer generated by user generated by user is nothing but it's you BW consultant so right now tell me ah, one more thing let me finish this PAR PAR is nothing but partner SAP has certain partners for example SAP has a major partner one of the main partner called Siemens these partners they decided to create their own info object they don't want to display on SAP predefined objects that is called partner now tell me this here this object is created by whom is it a SAP or is it a customer or is it a partner who is creating this object guys unmute yourself and please answer me yeah I need answer from all of you please unmute yourself and answer me this object is created by whom uh, by the customer I guess okay what about you Sai, Sureka and Raj the one which you have uh, rounded up correct uh, yeah this this object uh, who is creating here this object is creating by you you are nothing but customer here yeah. this is not delivered by SAP this is not delivered by partner it is created by the customer customer is nothing but you why we are we uh, BW consultant is calling as a customer okay now please guys go on a mute please why why we uh, your BW consultant is calling as a customer because we are a customer to SAP because we are using SAP product SAP always treat us as a customers only okay now how do I select because all these three options has been grayed out you need to press enter key on your keyboard when you press enter key on your keyboard please observe that cus has been selected you need to press enter key on your keyboard to select cus now click on create if you create any objects most of the time it is going to ask you to activate see there is a button called activation why I need to activate few of objects required activation to execute the program to start running with this object right now it is creation mode only can you see here 
the version is new but not active so I cannot execute this I cannot use this I cannot run this so now if I click on activate please observe that it is in a progress click on few minutes then it will becomes as what it is an active mode can you see here it is a green button it says object is successfully activated please observe I got my info object catalog under my info area okay so now go back so now this object is ready to execution what do you mean by execution I can create what is the purpose of this catalog I can create info objects okay now the step 2 is completed okay step 1 completed step 2 completed what is now step 3 create info objects let's create info objects go back to BW system right click and create info object guys if you observe here clearly please observe I have selected info object I have right click on this create info area I got my info area to create info object catalog I have right click on this create info object catalog I got my catalog to create info object I am right clicking on this did you observe here I most of the time I'm right clicking on the objects to create new such a very simple way see this is belongs to this in catalog belongs to info area then info object belongs to catalog so I need to create on top of catalog right click on your catalog please click on create info object please now observe what type of info object it is allowing us to create create characteristic only I cannot create any key figures here why my info object catalog type is char so it will allow me to create only characteristic type info objects okay now let's create I want to create a customer number let's say customer number one you need to always give underscore if you have a two words now it never accepts space or special characters only underscore it will accept two mix two different words now you need to enter the description customer number once you enter technical name and description click on continue when you click on a continue it is going to open your info object called customer number description then it will say it is a version is a new mode still not saved it is an inactive state not executable now we cannot work in case if it is in an inactive state please observe it has certain tabs general business explorer master data slash text hierarchy attributes we're going to work with all the tabs for time being let's work with only general tab what is the general tab contains it contains a data type so what type of data this particular object will accept we have a list of data types care numsy dads tims care is nothing but characteristic what does it mean if I select characteristic I can enter into this particular info object alphanumeric values what is alphanumeric values c001 it is all for numeric value what in case if I select numc it only digits it takes only numbers what in case if I select dads it will tell it say it will accept only date type of data the format should be year month date it's stored as eight digits if I select teams it is it will become a time field it will take only time related data the format should be hours, minutes and seconds stores as a six digits of length okay now select characteristic because I'm going to enter alphanumeric values let's say length is four digits when I enter this one please observe it is inactive state not activable then what I need to do I need to activate click on activate when I activate please observe under this my info object will display can you see now I got my info object once you've done this one please observe it says active and executable version is active mode now it is ready to use now 
if I want to close this particular area of the screen, there is a button called back or F3. If you click on this button, that additional area of the screen will be closed. Now you come back to your modeling screen. Now please observe, there is a level of the hierarchy. First info area, under this catalog, under this info opposite. Guys, this is how you create info opposite. Is it clear for everyone? Any questions, anyone? It's clear. Uh, okay. okay. Yes, Dinesh. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Sai and Sureka. Uh, yes, can. And, uh, I have a small one. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, 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 it. Okay, thank you, Shureka. Yes, I go ahead. Uh, we have created a customer info object. So, mm. activating, previously uh, I knew that uh, on, upon activating the customer uh, info object, uh, mm. I heard like uh, a table will be created in the back end. So, yes. Like, uh, like it's it's a table. It's it's not table will not be created in the back end, unless until if you don't load the data, the structure will be created in the back end. How the structure will be created? Please observe this. If I open my customer number again, info object, can you see here the data element has been created like this? Okay. Okay. Slash bic slash zero i. Your info object technical name. Then one table will be created back end with a structure, no data. It is called SID table slash BIC slash yes, followed by your info object technical name. Then there is an option called here with master data with text. If I click on change here, please observe. If I uncheck this, uncheck this, the table will be disappeared. Okay, so now what happens is if you start loading the data, the data will be filled in these tables in the back end of the database. This is called modeling. I'm designing my database. Now there is only one field created in the back end database called customer number in a complete whole the table. Clear? Yeah. Now what is your question, Sai? Please go ahead. Yeah, like I thought of uh, activating uh, the customer info object. The table will be created. Uh, I thought like that, but uh, now it is clear. Uh, no, the table the table has been created without data. It's only structure. Only one column has been created. For example, if I go back here, okay, if I want to show you in the BW side what it has been created, it has created only this. That's it. Here also. Loading. Yeah. Here also. Yeah. Upon loading, then you will get this this structure here. Okay. Then what I need to do? I need to start creating other object also. Age address. What happens if we don't create other objects? Your table will be like this. You can only load customer numbers, not other data, because there is no other info object. There is no place to store the data. There is no place to hold the data. For example, I want to load Kiran from here to here. If I want to load Kiran, where is a place to hold the Kiran? There is no object here. Right? If I have a customer name, the Kiran will go and sit down under the customer name info object. If I don't have this info object, there is no place for Kiran. There is no place for the name. There is no place for this customer name data. Then what happens? It will not accept the data. Right? It's very simple. If you open Google, you want to create a new Gmail account, it is going to give you application form where it is going to ask you first name, last name, your username, your password. Okay? What in case if it is not asking you username field? Can you enter username there if there is no username? No. Same. Very similarly, here also, I cannot enter the customer name because I don't have a customer name object here. Is it clear, Sai? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, guys, any other questions? 
Okay, tomorrow we're going to talk about all this. What is alpha? What is this conversion routine? Okay, so we'll discuss. Okay, no, no, uh, alpha, oh. alpha routine. Now we'll come to this. We'll come. Don't worry. Alpha is nothing but let me explain to you. For example, if you have a number called uh, 0001, for example, okay. If you don't have a conversion routine as alpha numerical, it will take it as one. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want exactly the same number, 0001, then it should be alpha conversion routine. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to discuss about what is this data element, why it is created this, then what is a master data slash text tab, which is very important for loading the master data, why these two checkboxes are available, what it is doing here, how these tables has been created, how I can check the data in these tables in the back end. Right now we are in the front end. How I can check the data in the back end after loading the data, what another one if I uncheck with master data please observe one tab is missing here again I'm checking yeah please observe which tab is missing component no component. component is there can you see compound here attributes. okay not attributes, attributes is attributes. missing why it is missing we're going to find out tomorrow then we'll come to what is a text, why should we use this, what is a table of text table, then we enter into attributes. So tomorrow is going to be very important class. Meanwhile, guys, please, uh, I hope all of you have your access to your server. We'll go in depth of this and uh, before loading your master data, I'm going to show you two options. First, manually loading the data. Then later next class will show you how to load the data automatically. Yeah, any questions guys? I hope so. Nobody has any questions. Thank you guys. We'll meet tomorrow.